All right, and uh, tell us who you are. I'm Sophia Cassiola. And uh, what band are you in? Do Not Forsake Me, Oh My Darling. And um, what did you major in in college? Modern physics. Modern physics. Did you do you remember a lot of college still? No. Ho hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we won't. Uh, we'll, we'll we're gonna That's try an to an underground bunker. <laughs> we're gonna try to stump you with these questions here. Um, we'll start pretty easy. Um, okay, I may I may uh, misstate some of these things because I don't really understand half of what I'm trying to say here. But according to Einstein's theory of relativity. Uh, if you took the identical clocks and you kept one at sea level, you synchronize these clocks. You keep one at sea level and bring one to the top of a mountain and you let them run for a while and then you look at them again. Uh, will they have the same time or will ha one have a different time than the other? The clock at sea level will run slightly slower because it's closer to the center of gravity. Okay, that is correct. Very good. Um, this one's a fun one. I don't, I don't really know what it means, but it sounds entertaining. Um, what modern physicist is famous for having a cat that is simultaneously alive and dead? I, I have no idea what that, why that is what they're talking well, about there. Schrodinger was a sick man with a lot of dead cats. <laughs> That is that is the correct that is the correct person. He had a cat in a box <laughs> with some poison, and until you've observed if the cat has died of this poison, you don't know whether it's alive or dead in this box. Okay, so it's simultaneously alive and dead. Thus, you have to assume <laughs> that it's existing in two states at once. Okay, he's a weird dude. Did he run these experiments? Obviously. <laughs> How can you know this without actually doing it? <laughs> that sounds like a fun, like being in grad school with uh, with this guy. It sounds like a like a fun time. All right, any, let's any move tests on. Any on cats? <laughs> let's move Especially on. Especially if they're lol cats. They're lol cats, yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's move on to um, radiation. Let's move on to radiation. That's always a fun one. What is the name of a an object that absorbs all radiation? A uh, black body. Black body. That's correct. I guess that's sort of an. E it sounds easy. I don't know if it's. It's black. It's, it's <laughs> it doesn't. It, does, it doesn't it's the release. Darkness. Doesn't release any light. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. All right. What is the name? This is question. What are we on four here? Question four. What is the name of a tube that is used to produce X-rays? Well, um, Wilhelm Röntgen discovered X-rays, but I think it was Coolidge who. Oh actually invented the tube. I thought we had you there for a second, actually. <laughs> um, so, because, uh, you know, you, you, you started giving the wrong answer, but then you got it right. Um, so what, what did Coolidge, what did he do? Like, what is this x-ray tube? Do you know how it is? So what within it is? the tube. So there's a tube. It's a cylindrical tube. It's an actual tube. tube? It's not just like Who a knows? figurative tube? It's a figurative thought tube with a cat. <laughs> thought it. tube? It's a th <laughs> thought tube. All right, so it's a but tube. But the electrons are firing. And they're firing at a heavy metal. And like Judas Priest? <laughs> just like, like, more like, uh, you know, Ozzy. Okay, so, so electrons are firing at Ozzy. <laughs> at Ozzy. <laughs> All right. As he's eating a bat. <laughs> and an electron is knocked from this metal, which from forces... From Ozzy. Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. From Ozzy. And that forces a higher frequency electron to drop down and fill the vacancy that was left by the one that it knocked out. And this all results in a lot of energy being shot around like this. I will dazzle you with my energy. That's and it nice. creates the x-ray. The camera is going out of focus. Just like it. that. All right. Uh, that, well, you got the answer correct. I don't know what the hell the rest of that stuff meant. But <laughs> something to do with Ozzy is great. But Ozzy. <laughs> Ozzy was the involved. The answer is cool. always Ozzy. Sounds good to me. Um, all right. Last question. Uh, and I think maybe this is an easy one, too. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know how hard any of these are. Whose principle states that an experiment cannot simultaneously determine the exact component of momentum and position. Because the cat is both dead and alive. That was Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Indeed, it was Heisenberg. So you actually, I don't know how the hell you did it, <laughs> but you actually got all five questions that I made up for you from this weird thing. Um, correct, so nice job. And um, 
Where are you going to be on October? I mean, October. October. I'm already in the Friday, relativity got me confused. Come to Fr What's Your Major at church. Very good. All right. Thank you. Thank you.